Okay, we're live here in uh, Silicon Valley in uh, San Jose, California. This is theCUBE, siliconangle.com, siliconangle.tv's flagship telecast where we go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, talk to the smartest people we can find, whether they're CEOs, entrepreneurs, developers, bloggers, anyone that's got some knowledge to share, we want to bring that to you. Um, here we're going to just do some commentary around what's happening at Hadoop Summit, huge event. This is ground zero, the, the core epicenter of all the action in big data. We have Hortonworks, Cloudera, the, the pioneers in Hadoop with big players like IBM, HP, uh, Traceda, uh, an emerging company. And we're going to talk about what's happening here. My guests in this segment is Avi Mehta from uh, the co-founder, the founder of Traceda. Um, big data player in the financial space and doing some great work, and Michelle Chambers from IBM Netiza, General Manager and Vice President of Analytics Solutions at Netiza. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thank you, thanks uh, for having us. Always good to be here. Obviously an alumni, has been on many times, coined the term data factories mm -hmm. in, uh, when you were with Bank of America at Hadoop World 2010. Really a pioneering concept at the time, but that's what was being Thank talked you. about in the keynote. That's right. Um, so how do you feel? I mean, you predicted the future, not uncommon for you. I, th <laughs> I think it's, uh, we, we did it together. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fair thing to say. I was, uh, we have now in conversations with, in the financial space, with every large bank in the country, and, and I now like saying, John, that uh, Hadoop will save the economy. The good news for, for the, uh, and, and the future, define the future for the economy. Almost everybody we talk to is trying to figure out a way, this is the good news, to put money back to work, right? The, the, there actually is a huge need, and now a recognized need amongst the large financial players that money needs to be put back to work. But they also re realize that they can't do it the way we did it six years ago. We've got to be a little bit more responsible, thoughtful, but also use a lot more predictive analytics and use the right data with the right information at scale to drive the answer. So um, there's only one thing that can do it. It's, uh, it's what the 2,000 people behind us at Hadoop Summit are, are aiming for. And, uh, we're trying to deliver in our own humble way in the, in the industry. Michelle Chambers with Netiza. Obviously, I talked in the opening segment with um, Rob Beard and the CEO of Hortonworks about analytics being the end game. The application side of it's really big. Obviously, there's still some infrastructure problems to solve. You got virtualization, you got huge uh, infrastructure challenges as well, and so you got two theaters exploding with change. Um, IBM is no stranger to some of that infrastructure side as well. You guys have a huge analytics. So talk about what you guys are doing here because IBM isn't a startup like Hortonworks or Cloudera. You guys are an established player, maybe even in a buyer for some of these companies. Um, not that I'm putting words in your mouth. No but, words but in but my mouth, <laughs> to on that. Not unless you want to get me fired. So, um, no one ever got fired for, for being on theCUBE. No worries, I'm not worried about it. So, I think that's um, IBM's expression. No one got fired for buying IBM. That's yes. the old expression. No one got fired for being that on theCUBE. That is true cube. though, yes. <laughs> So um, IBM jumped into the big data game um, a few years ago. They created a uh, streaming analytics platform that's called InfoSphere Streams, and that had, was done with a three-letter agency and has been around almost for 10 years now. And then what IBM saw was that the big data um, tsunami was coming around, and so we jumped into um, the Hadoop world by creating a distribution called Big Insights. And the big idea there was to not only um, harden up the um, infrastructure piece of it in terms of for enterprises, but then also add value on top of that. So a lot of what the buzz is here at Hadoop Summit is how do you get to the end game of where Avi is with Trasada, right? Because what people are beginning to recognize is that this infrastructure and the tools layer is going to be a relatively short-lived time frame, and that where we're going to is people, most enterprises can't take explain that, that and make explain something. Explain that concept, because that's really important. Yeah. That, that control plane time frame, talk about that dynamic. Yeah, so what's happening in the marketplace is everybody right now is trying to utilize the hammer that they have and make a, and find the nail to use the Hadoop platform, right? But there are all these piece part components and it isn't easy. You don't have the skills internally. People don't really understand how to do parallel programming. You have a lot of different pieces that are diff at different levels of maturity. And so what you see evolving, and it's very clear in the marketplace, is that this marketplace is going to get leapfrogged and we're going to move to end solutions like what Trasada has, where what the business really cares about is, how, doesn't care about all that infrastructure below. What they care about is, how do I get value out of this? And I want to essentially take the common wisdom that's in a person's head 
and now have it in a platform that isn't siloed and isn't restricted to technology, right? And that's what you see actually yeah. evolving. So I want to get your comment on something because obviously IBM was involved in the PC revolution yeah. uh, as well as Steve Jobs and Apple um, back in the day. I made a comment on theCUBE that the PC revolution really was all about putting the, the hands of productivity in the hands of users. Just computing, general purpose computing, versus the big mainframes at the time, and, and then client server came around, but and those were two real major disruptions in marketplace, but the PC revolution in particular was an absolute